Hello, my name is Roger Haynes, and I'm the designer of the Haynes 2.0 solar cooker. Here's how to assemble the cooker. It, the reflector comes in two pieces. One is wider in the middle than, this, than the other one. It has two flaps like this. And at the top of this one, the corners are cut off, if you can see that. So take it, set it so that the straight corners, the corners that are not cut off, are closest to you. Fold those sides in like this. Put your knee over it like that. Now take the other reflector and notice that it has also has two corners cut off here and here. Put those close to yourself like this. Lay it crosswise on top of the other reflector. Pull it all the way toward you like this. And then let those flaps open up on top of it. Do the same at the top so that you pull these flaps on top of each other like this, and then let them open up again on top of the crosswise reflector. That interlocks the two reflectors together, so you have one basic cooker. Then you'll notice that at the end of each side of the cooker, there are white snaps. Snap them together like this. There are two snaps at the end of each side. So we just snap them all together like this. There's only one way to do it. Snap them all the way around. This makes the ends of the cooker fold in slightly to catch more sunlight. Now you have four sides to your cooker. <clears throat> Attach the red snaps together. There are four of them like this. Red stamps everywhere. One, two, three, and four. And you see that you've now created the basic shape of the reflector. This is set for high sun. You would do, use the blue snaps for low sun. But let's stick with high sun for now. Once you've got the reflector set up, you want to take your cooking sleeve, which is this cylinder of polycarbonate plastic held together with a paper clips, set it right in the middle, and take a cooking pot, which is always black on the outside, set it inside and on top of the top rim of that polycarbonate cooking sleeve. So you see it holds the pot off the bottom of the reflector, like that. Put the lid on. Put the food in, then put the lid on. And then finally, take the circular cover, which is just a circle of polycarbonate plastic with a radius cut in it. Overlap that cut like this. Attach the Velcro pieces together. Set it in here and attach the Velcro to the back of the cooker here and the front of the cooker here. And that's important to push the cooker into the right shape. And now you have your cooker and you, are, you have two layers of insulation and you're all set up. In windy conditions, you can put a brick or a rock on these two flaps on each side. There's one on each side. That'll hold it firm and it'll be quite firm in windy conditions. So that's the Haynes Solar Cooker. You're ready to go. So to set it in the sun, you want to stand in front of the cooker. This is the front, obviously. It's the low side. That's the front. That side will face the sun. So you want to stand in front of the cooker and aim the cooker at your shadow. Aim that low side at your shadow. So you'll be standing there and your shadow will be right here. And if the sun's over there, of course, you'll turn it like this. And as the sun moves during the day, you'll turn it this way. And as it reaches the afternoon, it'll be all the way over here. So turn it every hour or two, depending on how fast the sun is moving. Um, you'll also want to adjust it depending on whether the sun is high in the sky, it's set right now for high sun. And for low sun, you simply disconnect the red snaps and instead use the blue snaps, which pulls the back of the cooker forward from low sun and moves the front of the cooker down lower, like this. So 
there you have the cooker set for low sun. So that's the Haynes Solar Cooker. You're ready to go.